Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are here at Mountain View RV Park. It's about eight miles east, uh, maybe nine, of downtown Calgary. And um, it's actually a very nice park. It's got paving over here on the main part, all the way around the park. It's got two, three loops. And where the RVs are, it's this dirt gravelly thing. However, when it rains, there are certain spots that they, they, that they need to put more of that gravelly stuff. There are some long-term people here where we can park another car. Unfortunately, this RV person or space is essentially taken over. And you can tell they're here long-term. Look at these tanks. They're about four feet tall. <laughs> they're almost as tall as I am. As you can see, I backed in. Yay! And we disconnected because we are here to see Cousin Kathy. Um, it is a 50 amp. It's so nice to have 50 amp again. We were able to run both heat pumps because it's dropping. It's now fall and it's cold. Anyway, getting back on track. It is 50 amp. Water, sewer. So I love that part and they do have they try to do these trees which is really nice between the RV sites so they do have trees between the sites however I'm gonna walk over that is highway one the Canadian highway that runs east and west it's actually not really a highway well it's a highway but it cuts through all the major cities and it's got signal lights which is really annoying okay again I like the part that this is all pavement where the RV sites are they tried to make it gravelly they need to get more gravel or these rock things to fill it in and they need to level the sites. I had to get our leveling blocks to level it. So it's not leveled left and right. Don't, don't like that. Sun is in our eyes right now because it's sunrise. Let me show you the part of this park that I do not care for. It's this very large pond that stretches from where our rig is, which is way over there, to almost to where the highway is. The stagnant pond is almost as big as the park. And what it does is, is that it attracts a lot of bugs. So when it gets warmer, about two o'clock, all these bugs come out of that pond and start buzzing around the park. It's it's very menacing I don't like it and mosquitoes there are mosquitoes in this park because of that pond they need to drain that pond or fill it in that is the only major distractor in this RV park the other ice it's not really something that's another thing that I don't care for too much in this park is when you drive in the first things you see are these trash cans right here. They're just out here next to the street or the the paved the paved way. They should put they should put these in a little house or something. It it just visibly does not look nice. I don't care for it. Okay, th these are the shower facilities. And the showers are not coin operated, so that's really nice. And they are clean. 
They do also have propane fillings here. And I topped off our propane tanks, which I thought were empty, and they're not. There's a little trick to it that I did not, was not aware about, and I was made aware of it. Here is the RV dump place. There are sites in this park that do not have sewer hookups. They're 20 amps with water, which is along this row right here. Laundry room is located next to the main office. Oh, they got industrial. 25 cents. They got washers. It's three dollars per wash. And the dryers are one dollar for ten minutes. Had the tank filled, topped off, and I thought it was empty. Uh, apparently, this thing trips if there's not enough pressure. So, it was still pretty much a full tank. He just topped it off. 13 pounds but if there's not enough pressure going through the line this little safety thing here will trip and apparently it happens more often than not and a lot of propane places apparently will charge you a full tank even though this thing has just been tripped the way to untrip it you take the hose off and then you put it back on that simple the gentleman over here at this park was very nice about it. Long-winded. Oh my goodness, was he long-winded. But you know what? Very nice man. Taught me about this tripping thing in the propane tank. So, it's a yes as far as staff goes for this park. There is a teenage girl over there in the park. Who, if you ask her questions, she's a comatose zombie. And this is what's wrong with children nowadays. They don't know how to speak to people. They just kind of look at you and don't know how to respond. It's very sad. These kids today, unless it's a freaking phone or a screen in front of them, they don't know how to respond. They have no communication love. They have no communication skills whatsoever. Girl in there in that park in the office is an idiot and a moron and needs to learn social skills. Here we are again at Barcelo's Plain Grilled Chicken here in outside of Calgary between Calgary and Stratmore. <laughs> this is kind of like an El Pollo Loco but it tastes better. <laughs> this is our second lunch here. So we had lunch here yesterday. We're having lunch here again today. Probably not tomorrow but for the next two days we're probably gonna have lunch here again only because the chicken is absolutely delicious okay we ordered half a chicken mm -hmm. we got four pieces Calls, look how big this calls by the rice garlic bread absolutely delicious mm -hmm. so again day two here in Calgary and we're eating at the same chicken place mm -hmm. Okay, we're back at Omo, Japanese teppanyaki. And uh, today, we ate here last night. It was delicious. And today we're here with Cousin Kathy. Hello.
Okay, we had another enjoyable lunch or meal at Omo. So, Cousin Kathy, what did you think? Oh, it was delicious. What an amazing experience, the whole meal. <laughs> and the mango ice cream. <laughs> okay. We were at the Calgary International Airport, dropping off Walter so he can leave smiley, me. Smiling, smiling. So he can leave me and get back to Vegas. A well, steam I'm still... shower, lots of pressure, warmth. Well, I'm still on the road for two weeks. Lovely. Mm -hmm. He just leaves me. Mm. I get the bed to myself. Yeah, he really gets the bed to himself. He doesn't have to whine about my sleep number setting. We don't know where we're going. It's just departures, departures over here. So I'm dropping him off at the airport only because I need to find postcards. So I need a gift shop that sells postcards so I can mail postcards. So there's Walter's luggage. It's just hand carry. So here we are using self-service. Hoping it will work. Hoping it will this work. This is my entire luggage. I'm setting down. Okay, we're gonna say our bye bye here while Walter goes through security, which we cannot film. Bye bye. So, bye bye. Okay, so we leave him here in Calgary. He's, he's, he's gone. I'm gone. You have your passport. He's got his passport. Well, that was the tour of Mountain View RV Park, east of Calgary, which is about nine, eight miles. From downtown it's actually a very convenient spot again the park is really nice I do like the park however I just don't like that pond that's directly behind us because of all the insects so unfortunately that is not the parks the park can't do anything about it because it looks like it's outside of their boundary line so it's whoever owns that property out that way well, thank you for watching. Bye.